Alleluia, alleluia. The king shall rejoice in thy strength, O Lord. Exceeding glad shall he be of thy salvation. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. spirit. The continuation of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory be to thee, O Lord. The same day went Jesus out of the house and sat by the seaside. And great multitudes were gathered together unto him, so that when he went into a ship and sat, the whole multitude stood on the shore. And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow, and when he sowed some seeds, some, when he sowed some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. Some fell on stony places, where they had not much earth, and forthwith they sprung up, because they had no deepness of earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among thorns, and thorns sprung up and choked them. But other fell into good ground, and brought forth fruit, some an hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. The gospel of the Lord. Praise be to thee. <laughs> Grandpa's in very beautiful surroundings. <laughs> let us let us pray for the church and for the world and let us thank God for his goodness. Almighty and ever-living God, who by thy holy apostle has taught us to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks for all men, we humbly beseech thee most mercifully to receive these our prayers, which we offer unto thy divine majesty, beseeching thee to inspire continually the universal church with the spirit of truth, unity, and concord, and grant that all they that do confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word and live in unity and godly love. We beseech thee also to save and defend all Christian kings, princes and governors, and specially thy servant, Elizabeth, our Queen, that under her we may be godly and quietly governed. And grant unto her whole council and to all that are put in authority under her, that they may truly and indifferently minister justice to the punishment of wickedness and vice and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. Give grace, O Heavenly Father, to all bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may both by their life and doctrine set forth thy true and lively word, and rightly and duly administer thy holy sacraments. We pray for Sarah, our bishop, and Robert, our area bishop. And to all thy people, give thy heavenly grace and specially to this congregation here present and dispersed, that with meek heart and due reverence, they may hear and receive thy holy word, truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. And we most humbly beseech thee of thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and succour all them who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. We continue to pray for June Newton, Helen Spinks, Urania Brett, Margaret Salter, Beatrice Mayhew, Muriel Hall, Maurizio Barbier, Jane Mary Green, Pansy Chu Kang, Joe Fisher, Michael Branwell, Eleanor Williams, Judy Burgess, John Hawes, Ian Brook, John Yates, Denise Marshall, Margaret Cooper, Elizabeth Ojolade, Alan Hall, Martin Minns, Michael Knollis, Amy Fagan, and Peter Aljax. And we also bless thy holy name for all thy servants departed this life in thy faith and fear, beseeching thee to give us grace so to follow their good examples that with them we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. Amongst the recently departed, we pray for Gillian Lunn. Grant this, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, 
our only mediator and advocate. Amen. Amen. You that do truly and earnestly repent you of your sins and are in love and charity with your neighbours and intend to lead a new life, following the commandments of God and walking from henceforth in his holy ways, draw near with faith and take this holy sacrament your comfort and make your humble confession to Almighty God. Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, maker of all things, our judge of all men, we acknowledge and aware of our own sins, which we from time to time have committed by thought, word, and deed against thy divine majesty, provoking most justly thy own salvation against us. We do earnestly repent and are heartily sorry for sorry these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us. The burden of them is unto us. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. For thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our sins and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please thee in the news of To the honour and glory of thy name. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy hath promised forgiveness of sins to all them that with hearty repentance and true faith turn unto him, have mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. We are the body of Christ. In the one spirit, we were all baptized into one body. Let us then pursue all that makes for peace and builds up our common life. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with thy spirit. One thing I have desired of the Lord, which I will require, even that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Blessed art thou, Lord God of all creation, of thy goodness we have this bread to offer which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed art thou, Lord God of all creation, of thy goodness we have this wine to offer fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of our salvation. Blessed be God forever. Wash me from my sins and cleanse me from my iniquities, that in innocency I may go round thine altar, O Lord. God, O Lord, the gifts of thy suppliant church, and grant that partaking thereof may avail for the salvation and continual sanctification of them that believe. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, almighty, everlasting God, through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, our Lord. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord, Lord of hosts. Lord, Lord Heaven and earth, and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, to thee O Lord, 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 Lord Most High. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through thy Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of thy Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be unto us his body and his blood who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread, 
and when he had given thanks to thee, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks to thee, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as oft as ye shall drink it, in remembrance of me. Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself, made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of his kingdom. And with this bread and this cup, we make the memorial of Christ, thy Son, our Lord. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Except through him, our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise. And as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of thy divine majesty, renew us by thy Holy Spirit, inspire us with thy love, and unite us in the body of thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be unto thee, O Father Almighty, world without end. Amen. Amen. As our Saviour Christ hath commanded and taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him that taketh away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof. But speak the word only. My soul shall be healed. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. Body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for thee, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Take eat in remembrance that Christ died for thee, and feed on him in thy heart by faith with thanksgiving. Blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was shed for thee, preserve thy body and soul unto everlasting life. Drink this in remembrance of Christ's blood was shed for thee, and be thankful. Grant, O Lord, we beseech thee that the course of this world may be so peaceably ordered by thy governance that thy church may joyfully serve thee in all godly quietness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In union, O Lord, with the faithful at every altar of thy church, where the Holy Eucharist is now being celebrated, I desire to offer thee praise and thanksgiving. I present to thee my soul and body with the earnest wish that I may be always united to thee, 
and since I cannot now receive thee sacramentally, I beseech thee to come spiritually into my heart. I unite myself to thee, and embrace thee with all the affections of my soul. Let nothing ever separate thee from me. May I live and die in thy love. Amen. Amen. Lovely to see everybody and to know you're there. I don't know if Patrick's still with us. He looked as though he had the he won the prize for the most scenic <laughs> setting on a on a Welsh mountainside. So I'm sure it's equally lovely on the banks of the Thames in Henley. Uh, We're actually back in London for a couple of days. Oh, so <laughs> I'm in my conservatory. Oh, oh, very good. Oh, well, nice to know. You. Nice we did see Ian Brook yesterday from a distance. Oh, jolly good. Yes, no, he's in good spirits. I'm going to try and see him mm. later. Um, but uh, anyway, lovely to see everybody. Um, and uh, we'll, I, I think we'll keep it at eight o'clock. There were some people who were a bit concerned about it being rather early, but I hope I've solved that problem by recording this and putting it up on YouTube. Though I forgot to record the first part of the service, so um, uh, I uh, hope that they, those who log in don't mind that they just get from the gospel onwards. Um, that's not uncommon for some people who come to the 10.30 anyway to only be in time for the gospel. So uh, ne next week I'll find a minute to record. <laughs> How, William, how's the, um, the 10.30 service going? Is that... Um, well, I'm the... We've only had the one. Um, yes. Uh, sorry, I'm a bit a bit blinded here. There's, the sun has just managed to come around just um, yeah. as we started. Um, uh, it, it was lovely last week. It was really very nice. I was. Um, we had... A, we were under our number, where 60 is our number, and we were about 49. Um, oh. And uh, it was just a very, very, very nice occasion. Um, the, the most moving thing was going into church at the beginning, and the, Michael played a sort of fanfare on the organ, and everybody followed us in, and it was very, very stirring, I think. Oh, good. Um, but uh, simple and straightforward, and, and uh, um, most people came well-equipped with all the right kit. And, right. Oh, good, yeah. Some people didn't take communion. Um, you know, it was entirely up to people. Yes, right. Um, apparently, the choir of Salisbury Cathedral are in the middle of major tests with Porton Down on the whole business of the effect of singing. Um, and uh, so we're eagerly awaiting the results of those. But in the meanwhile, our choir is actually singing at St. Mark's, but please don't publish that abroad. Um, it's not against the law. Which is, my, I'm sure Ian will be pleased to know, but um, there, 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 <laughs> there, there are mixed feelings about it in church circles. Lots mm. of churches haven't gone back at all. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they're, they're, or at least they're just doing very minimal things. Um, yeah. Yeah. But, um, uh, they're going to go back in September, but uh, we're having, we're continuing this hybrid certainly till the end of July. What I thought I might do, I don't know what, what you think, is I'll. If I record the August eight o'clocks, as it were, before I go away on holiday, um, then they'll be available on YouTube each Sunday at eight o'clock. Oh, I'll release them so they can be available yeah. at eight o'clock. Yeah. Um, so uh, we'll be able to keep this mixed mode going. Yeah, yeah that's that's good because I'm not quite ready to come to ten thirty again. I I've got to be quite careful. So. Right, right. No, I understand. I understand. Um, anyway, so good to see everybody. Uh, to the blessing. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. The peace of God which passeth all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Thanks to the world. Right. Bye. Bye bye, everybody. Bye. Bye bye.